So, if we connect the dots, a radical new picture starts to emerge. We have quantum cognition, which uses quantum-like models to describe how we think. We have suggestive, though heavily debated, experimental hints of entanglement in the brain. And we have new theoretical models exploring how it might even be possible. When you put it all together, you get the seeds of a new vision for the mind. The thesis is this. Your ability to think abstractly, create art, and even wonder about your own existence might be a sign that your mind is tapping into these hidden quantum layers. This isn't just processing data like a computer. This could be interacting with a deeper layer of reality. The old worldview sees thoughts as just echoes of sensory input, a remix of what you've seen and heard. This new perspective asks if your thoughts might also be echoes from a deeper reality, a fundamental, probabilistic field of information. Your brain becomes an antenna, potentially tuning into a universal field of information. This remains a philosophical idea, not a scientific one, but it's at the heart of this entire mystery.